Welcome to the adventure. This is Adam, and today we're going to be going over some settings in the system BIOS. So here we are looking at the system BIOS, the basic input-output system. What I want to do here is go down to the load BIOS default, which is the minimal settings, safest option. It's mostly for troubleshooting problems with the computer. The other option is load setup default. That's going to give you your optimized default settings for performance performance. So we're going to restart and watch what the computer does. So it does actually count the memory here on the memory test uh, three full times before it continues. Again, this mode is primarily for troubleshooting problems with a PC, so it is making sure the memory is functioning properly before it moves on to the next step. You do have a couple options down at the bottom of the screen for ending the test or going back into the BIOS to change the settings. So we're going to let it ride out here and finish its boot process. As you'll notice, this does take an excessive amount of time. Next, we're going to look at a boot cycle with the setup defaults, the optimized ones, uh, see, in, uh, see how that works a lot quicker. And then we'll go over a couple different settings in the BIOS and show you how that works. Here we finally are uh, fully booted, ready to go. That did take quite a long time, over a minute for sure. So we're going to restart the PC, just control alt delete from the prompt here because there isn't currently a command we can use to restart from the command prompt. I did press the delete key here to go into the BIOS, it just takes a moment because again these are really minimal settings primarily for troubleshooting issues with the PC. So we are now going to go down to load setup default. Again say yes to that, exit, yes. And here we go, we will watch this boot cycle. And there we go, quite a bit faster that time. So we're gonna restart one more time here, go back into the BIOS and go over a couple quick settings of note. So I would like to start here in the standard CMOS setup. And what I'm doing here is disabling the auto detect for drives that I know are not present in the system. And that is the primary master and the secondary master. So those are set to none. And then we're going to go over here to the auto detect. And this is our hard drive here. We do want option number two, which is what we will select. And then if we go back over here, yeah. So it now has the settings we've, uh, it, or the BIOS detected and we said yes to over here. So the next item is going to be under the BIOS features setup. There is a lot going on here. The BIOS does come with a manual that explains what the default settings are, sometimes make some recommendations on what different things do. The turbo mode, for example, is the opposite of a turbo mode. Turbo is designed to make a PC run temporarily faster when it's necessary. Older PCs had a button dedicated to turning the turbo mode on. This one just has a setting in its BIOS to make the system run slower on an indefinite basis. So you come back in here and disable the setting again. The setting I want to draw the attention to here is the quick power on self test. Okay, if for some reason this were set to disabled, that would make the system take longer to boot up. There is a more lengthy process that it does for the power on self test. As we observed, the memory was tested three times over before the system would boot. The next item on the list is the boot up floppy seek. So this can be enabled the system will attempt to read from the floppy drive a single time when it's booted. This does add a small amount of time to the full boot cycle. For optimal performance, you can have this disabled. Really turning it on is a troubleshooting step for floppy drives that are problematic. The next item here of interest is the boot up system speed. In my particular BIOS here, I thought this was interesting, the manufacturer's manual said while well, there are two settings, high and low, doesn't actually have a function, and it's recommended just to leave it on high, which is what we will do. This BIOS does not have the particular feature that I wanted to talk about, but yours may. Some of them have a boot up delay, 
it's a small amount of time that the system is made to wait after it's powered on before the BIOS attempts to check the hard drive, to send a read command to the hard drive to make sure that it is there. The reason for that is some older hard drives are not able to spin up to the appropriate speed to accept the read or write commands that early. Typically, the delay is turned on. If you have a much newer hard drive that doesn't have that problem, or if you're using an older system with a memory card of some kind in place of a hard drive or a compact flash drive, things like that, that can seek much quicker, you can turn that delay off and save a little bit of time in the boot cycle. That's what I wanted to talk about here in this segment. Thanks for stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.